My name is Juliana Recio Calero, and I grew up in beautiful Bogotá, Colombia. When I was an infant, I contracted polio, and to everyone's surprise, survived bronchial pneumonia, as well as numerous surgical orthopedic procedures. Thirty years later, this polio syndrome caused me new weaknesses, pain, and fatigue. After walking with leg braces and crutches for years, I had to readjust and accept a new condition that was progressive. After fighting it for a while, I started using a wheelchair because it gave me independence, made me faster, and helped me conserve energy. As a child, my mother always treated me the same way she treated my two sisters and my brother, sent me to regular schools, emphasized the importance of education, and taught me that I could do the same things as anyone else and that I should never feel like a victim or sorry for myself. When I was 17, I moved to the States in search of better medical care, the Martins of Delaware, believed in me and became my second family. Initially, I was reluctant to work in the disability field because that would put my disability in the forefront. A turning point in my life was when a professor asked me, would you like to work with people with disabilities? My first response was, no way. I do not want to advertise the fact that I have a disability. However, once I thought about it and realized that it was not about me, but about something bigger, about asserting a right, I was hooked, and I knew then that I was put in this world to work with people with disabilities and their families. Furthermore, I realized that ethnic and cultural minorities have been historically underserved and needed people from their own communities to become leaders. My first job in this new field was at the National Center for Latinos with Disabilities in Chicago. It took 11 years, but I finally became a U.S. resident with a National Interest Waiver highlighting my exceptional work in the disability field. Over the course of the last 15 years, I have advanced in this field and worked in nonprofit organizations throughout the United States. My biggest professional accomplishments have been traveling, speaking at conferences, updating books, training, and teaching. My life and my work have completed a full circle. The fact that I had parents and supporters that believed in me and instilled in me pride in who I was and who I was going to become has given me the power to believe in others and instill in them that same pride. A few years ago, my mother became disabled after an accident, and now she uses a wheelchair, which gave me a chance to reciprocate all the support and love she has given me. Now my mother herself has become a disability advocate in Colombia. My dream is to found an organization for Latinos with disabilities and their families here in the United States and in Latin America. Work is in everything. I paint when I get a chance and have a sense of great joy when people call me an artist. But I feel the greatest pride when people call me an advocate and an activist in the disability field because I am following the steps of great people. And hopefully, if I do a good job, others will follow me.